Let's highlight uh, channel one. So it's called Vortex. Voice of Reason to Explain X. It's kind of a clever name. Went around debunking silly things. I kind of debunked a silly thing here in the same similar vein of contribution in all our patients and tutelage. Flat Earth theorists. Let's get it out of the way really quick. So, um, hey, Billy. You never guess what? Me and Miriam went up into space the other day. Come here, I want to show you something. You're not going to believe it. Check it out, bro. Whoa. I don't know. I didn't believe it either. It's the whole Earth, Billy. The whole Earth. You could see the whole thing. I could see Antarctica, and I could see the Antarctica, and I could see everything, Billy. Blow your mind, Billy. Doesn't it the photograph we took? I don't tell anybody, Billy. No, it's our little secret, our little view, our little view of outer space, a little glimpse that we paid so much money for. So you want to keep it secret, aren't you? And because they kept it secret, it became privy, and it became leaked to kind of documents. Check out this photograph from outer space of the world, an actual photograph of the world appearing apparently holistic in one whole image. It's circular, but not spherical. So that's where the hype came from, the actual anticipated premises or foundations required for such a silly thing to be publicly believed because ever since commercial um, astro, astro, travel, tra astro travel commercial space travel has occurred they go up they cruise around the same point in space for three days or something and probably an exact focal point which i'm going to explain now they travel to a point outside the sphere where light and you see all these things this is a light horizon basically uh, an event horizon of light and this is where event horizons come from a light horizon so they use light horizons to explain or theorize event horizons so there's light horizons where you see much well, have you ever thought about what it's like to go into space where the light is warping and changing and redirecting all the time it's a very weird thing to th maintain in your thoughts so anyway they take them up to this point focal point or this view viewpoint basically and they show them a trick and they don't even explain it to them they just let them go wow and flow back down to earth but it's just like a big a paratrade, like I was using a video just before I tried to explain this, it's just a trick of light and all scientific deduction and analysis, all good, I know they're all talking about you're not a good scientist, you're not a good scientist, well all good scientists would have to realise that your um, perception is part of the phenomenon of you um, making scientific evaluations in the first place and light is a primary um, element of your experience so when things like light are changing, your experience is changing and it's very hard to get objective scientific analysis or numeral analysis on things. So you have hard evidence here of a visual effect on the brink of the horizon or the brink of the earth, where at a certain time, I'd imagine, I'd imagine it's if you're um, a relative, relative it's kind of definitely relative to the sun if you're dealing with light. So I'd imagine it's on the complete dark side of the world when you're, they go up into the very dark side of the world and they can see the whole light that passed through the whole sphere coming getting caught in that whole sphere and coming and meeting them at the exact polar opposite so i'd say they knew what they're doing bringing them up there to have an experience if they paid so much money to do it and they can't explain it they don't explain it to them and that's where you get all this hype about flat earths because you have some weird hard evidence photographs and pictures and then you get a lot of um scientists you know there's a lot of terrible things you can do with this now so in uh, you know quantities are transcendentally ideal so you can put things on a pie chart or you can put things on a uh, you know a pyramid chart or you can put things on different types of web chart you can put information in different models so you can take very relative information of the season of the stars and you can put them onto a flat earth model and you can make them relatively work and unfold because like quantities are just relative to one another so that's why you can also make a lot of science and you can actually not prove it you can put easily put mathematics to flat earth theories as well and uh, all the relative quantities are there but it'll just move in a flat air to, um, you know, a model, a different model, but the same information is being held. So you get a lot of people trying to make science now, which is very wasteful and time consuming and uh, stupid. Um, backing this up, and then they say the science to back. So we've hired evidence, we've hired photographs, and now we've evidence to back it up. So now it's all silly. It's just um, rich people going up into space, taking photographs, telling their silly but, uh, cousins, keep it a secret, and then their cousins talk about it when they're drunk, and then. You know, it's, uh, it just spirals, and there had to be some reason like this anyway for people to get foundation. There are the reasons for foundation, and that's my theory on the basic fair theory of what happens because it's uh, a trick of aperture. It's a trick of what um, refraction of light in a sphere model. So you've seen refraction of light in crystals, maybe you see rainbows in water. So um, just probably loads of trippy things that go on when you're passing out through the, um, the world, the atmosphere. Um, that thing in um. Was it 19, 
thousand or two thousand or Space Odyssey, and you see like a a beam. It's like a flat beam, like a flat reflective beam. That's another trick of light that happens in space. It's not a beam at all. It's a mirage. I can't remember. I've seen it though in space. I saw some footage of space like that. It just looks just like that thing, but it's just a weird light trick trick of light we, you know there's so much going on it's really hard to ever really explain what we're going on in particular space so um yep flat air theorists um uh yeah, it's, it's just the frustration of the things that people are believing in the world and you know i think something is rolling before you know it's fascism or something like this and you're putting in school books or something. but um yeah he was drawing circles in the sand for the people more okay 